I'm Justy Blocks, and we're back in Creatures of Sona Rhea, and we're going to do all sorts today. First off, we've got to announce the winner for the last giveaway. I've been away on holiday. You may have seen my announcement on YouTube. Um, hence, no videos last week. But we're back. We've got new creatures to check out. Uh, specifically, uh, specifically, which one are we checking out? We're checking this one out, the Gry Villa, which looks incredible look at it we are doing that we're checking that out we're also spending some eggs i've been saving we've got some eggs uh what else are we gonna do we're gonna announce another areas giveaway because why not let's have another one um first off let's jump into buy creatures now there's an easter gacha right which i missed in my announcement video oh look oh see when i was away on holiday like this was the only one in here so it was a hundred percent chance of getting him and i thought no no i'll wait till wait has that gone up in price that doesn't i'm sure that was less eggs i thought no no i'll record getting him and now now i've got silly bouncy floppy oh and i'm sure that's gone up i'm almost positive that's more eggs than it was I don't want to go for it now. I really, really want that little bunny, but I don't I don't want to risk all those eggs in case I get one I've already got. Well that that sucks, if I'm honest. Let's go to here. So plushes. We got plushes that help us out, apparently. Uh which one was it that people were saying is a good? Uh ambush speed. Two nest egg starts at 100%. Because you can gain eggs by um, nesting people, hatching people. I think that's how it works. Which is a good way of getting them. And this gives you two... See, that's interesting. That's only 500. I think we should consider that. And then obviously we've got these guys here. Um, we don't want Derpy Duckface. That's for sure. But we do want the other two. So what are they? That's 1,000. That's 1,200. So that's 2,200. Two five. Ah, oh, then we only have to save a little bit more for the plushie, right? Huh. You're a tier two. You're a tier two. Wait, if you're both tier two, why is one dearer than the other? I I feel like what's see Derpy Duckface is a tier two, but he's an old one, so I get why he's cheaper. But these are both tier two. I I want them both. I'm gonna do it. Um, are you sure? Yes, do it. There we go. So we can afford you. I'm going to do it as well. So we've got a couple of creatures. We've got a, a, a ton of creatures to check out now. I do want that plushie though. So we're definitely going to have to try and get some eggs whilst looking at the Gry Villa. Uh, but first off, let's announce the winner of the last giveaway, which was the Owl Frustration video. Um, yeah, so that was... I loved that owl. It was... So, it looks amazing. It's just a tad slow, if I'm honest. I've definitely kept it, and it's fully grown now. So I feel like I can have some fun with it. I just wish it was a tiny bit faster. Uh, anyway, getting back to this. Drum roll, please. And the winner is... Coconut Kitty 005, I think that's how we're pronouncing it. Um, I've sent you a friend request on Roblox. If you send me a message with the, the secret word, the hidden word in the video, you have just won yourselves an Aries. Woohoo! And pretty much we're going to do the same thing in this video. If you want to enter the giveaway, you just have to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and look out for the word during this video. And then... Don't put it in the comments below. Don't put the, the, the word in the comments. Anyone who does that will be removed. I gave you that warning in the last video. I still removed people for putting the word there. Just keep the word to yourself. And then if you're chosen, if you're chosen, then I'm going to ask you for the word. You're going to give me the word. You're going to win, win in areas. It's that simple. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. button put your username in the comments below and someone will win in areas. Now, on with the Gryvilla. I am not going to lie. This thing looks amazing. Look, I love the face of it. Look at the little face. It's so cute. It is actually cute. 
and colourful. Look at that palette. If I can't come up with three colour schemes with that palette, I'm, I'm going to quit. That's what I'm going to do. I'm hoping this is really... Oh, there's a lot of sections here. I'm guessing all the balls are going to be... Do they just stay the same, I presume? Yeah, it looks like it. It doesn't look like they're included. I'll find out as I go along. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to uh, come up with three colour schemes. We're going to come back, have a look at them, have a play around with this creature and see what it can do. So I've gone for three very different skins here. Obviously, it's quite a colourful looking creature. So I've dulled that down a bit with this one. This is the Northern Dark Tip. You do know I like my blue skins. I just think that looks really nice. All the different shades of blue are bringing out the colours. I tell you what though, these spots here, these spots on the body, you've got them on the back legs and the front legs. They're not in this list. They're not here at all. They just remain white. Yes, you could use the, the colour thingy to colour them. Uh, but I've left them white throughout all of them because it, it seems to work. I, if I was going to change them to anything on this model, it would probably be the dark colour just to bring that through a bit more. But I don't mind it. They're not bad. I love the face and, and the, the, the mane that's going on with this creature. Again, it's got goblin ears. We do seem to have a, a um, sort of a, a theme of goblin ears recently. Still a lovely looking creature though. Let's go to the second skin. This is the Lesser Fire Frill. Again, very different to the other one. We've got lots of like deep sort of reds and, and then lighter reddish pinkish colours. And then this beige colour works really nicely as well. I really like this. Wait, those circles must be colourable because we've coloured them to a beige colour there, right? Or is it just looking beige? I don't know. I don't know, but I do really like... I like all three of these skins. I think this is one of those creatures I could quite happily sit and come up with skins for all day long. Not entirely keen on the bubbles, if I'm honest. I could probably live without them, but... Yeah, you can't like everything. And finally, because we had such a colourful palette, I felt like I should do a colourful creature... Um, and we've come up with, the, you can tell it's colourful by the name, the Southern Candy Kelp. There we go. Look at that. I love it. It should be hideous, but I really like it. When I started colouring it, I wasn't sure, but it, it just works really nicely. And all the different shades of turquoise, which is probably, this is probably one of my favourite colours, this turquoise greeny colour. And I, it's just lovely. And it, they just, all the different shades bring out all the details. And then you've got this pink and purple sort of picking out certain parts. I really like this colour. And this is probably the one we're going to play as. Let me know in the comments below which is your favourite. Is it the... Uh, uh, is it the North Dark Tip? Is it the Lesser Fire Frill? Or is it the Candy Kelp? Um, if you want to see how I did these, I do, uh, I've started to do a time lapse of me colouring them on my TikTok. So if you haven't checked that out, go and check that out after the video, of course. Let's jump in. Let's see what this thing can do. Oh, no, wait. Wait. We didn't check the difference between male and female. Male, aha, uh -huh, there's the whiskers. I was going to say there's whiskers and I coloured them red because I couldn't figure out where they were. And apparently they're, they're, they're on his chin. That looks a bit odd now, if I'm honest. Those should probably uh, be a whitey colour. Like that. I don't like them. I Wait, wait, there's lots of differences. So males have that. And don't, and they have that tail bit as well, look. The tail bit there, the males have. So if I do female, that disappears. That disappears, but they don't get any... Oh, they do get something extra. They get this piece on the head. So let's go back to male so you can see I prefer that piece. That should be on the, 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 both of them, if I'm honest. It looks a bit odd without it. The mane is, the mane is more open on the male. And I don't know, I like the female. And it also gets these little fins on the back of the legs, right? Yeah. Yeah, I like the female. So we're going to play as a female. Let's jump in. Let's see what this thing can do. And of course, the sun's going down. Of course it is. I do like how it holds its wings. That's... Oh. Oh, walking's a bit odd. Oh, it's a bit 
quick for my life. It sort of shuffles. It's it's quite odd. Wait, what do we look like? Oh my god! Don't we pound along? Look at the speed of this thing. That's I love the running. That's so quick. <laughs> oh, cactus! Cactus! We've just run into a cactus. That's not what you want to run into. The walk. Again, I'm feeling a bit. Am I feeling slidey? Possibly a little slidey. The legs seem to be moving a little quicker than what we're actually walking. Let's have a look at the idle animation. So, bit of wing movement, bit of tail movement, quite subtle. It is raining though. Oh, we do fly. Oh, look at that. I thought we were going to be a walk. Wait, are we an all-terrain creature? Can we swim as well? I love that flying animation. That's lovely. Those wings, are, it's almost like it's effortless. And I do, like I've said before, um, oh wait, let's glide. Yeah, I've said before, I do like it so it looks like they're putting effort into flying. But I feel like the design of this creature, it would, it would look effortless when it flew. Let's see. I'm hoping we can swim well. Because I've just sort of, oh, hello, Mr. Shark. We can. We can swim okay. Again, love the animation. Really nicely done. The movement of the tail and the movement of the wings, again, is beautiful. And we can swim fast, right? Yes, we can. Do you know what? So far, I'm, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised by this creature. The animation is lovely. Really nice. I think the walking animation is my least favourite. Love the running animation. We're so quick. Uh, what do we eat? We eat everything. Everything. But when I say everything, I don't mean every everything. <gasps> the boss is here. We need to check out the boss as well at some point. I feel like we need to get to an adult first. So let's have something to eat. We're quite small, I feel. When we compare us to the berries, we seem fairly small. Oh, look how pretty we look. I feel like we're an Easter creature. We, we definitely have Easter. I, I just like walking around in circles with this. How the tail flows around is beautiful. <laughs> I didn't do the description of this creature. I've just realised. Um, so we should probably look at that. And this isn't flying, right? This is gliding. Which I actually think I prefer to fly in. Gliding's fun. Why don't I do that? I, I, I know I annoy people that I don't glide a lot. But this is like a nice glide. This one goes, you can get some height on this glide. It doesn't just glide downwards. Like, oh, look how much food is here. This is like a feast. Anyway, description. Uh, the Grivilla are docile and sociable semi-aquatic creatures. Their bodies are coated in a thin, oh, hello. Hello, hush hike. That's one of my favorites, the hush hike. It always has been. Um, why you chase? Oh no! Don't chase me! Why? Why? Just why? Is it chasing me? I don't under. Why would you just attack me for no reason? What is wrong with people? I love this thing. Oh, this is so much fun. Um, we should probably sit down. We're heal up. Where was I before I was rudely attacked? Uh, yes, yeah, so their bodies are coated in a thin layer of poisonous, slimy, slippery oil, which allows them to glide through warm bodies of water effortless, effortlessly. See, I said it looked effortless. Um, they wield very vibrant colours, which signify the um, inhabit tropical coral reefs. Okay, so they've gone for those colours because these things live round the coral reefs which makes sense so my color schemes probably don't suit the creature's description at all but they still looked good so that's the main thing <laughs> oh yeah i still don't like the walking animation apart from that i love this creature so far i've really enjoyed playing as it we do need to heal up though I bet you were all screaming at the screens telling me if I press spacebar, it would flip me up even higher. Um, yeah, basically, spacebar acts like a jump through the, through the air, basically. 
Um, this thing's telling me you need more portal eggs. Find five more. Is that a portal egg or is that a normal egg? Have we got multiple different eggs? That looks like a normal egg. So that was a normal... What is a portal egg and what does... Where do I find that? Hmm. Okay. I like the idea we need portal eggs. I feel like everyone is going to be looking for them, though. I'm just going to eat this berry bush here. Lovely. I feel like these are the berries I live on because of my colour. The pink, the pigment from the, the berries has come out into my, my, my skin. Oh, that was a bit close. So I need portal eggs. I also need my stamina to go up. That's the first egg I've found since being on here. Like... The first time I came on for the Easter event, eggs were everywhere and they 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 don't seem to be anymore. They seem to have vanished. They've put the price of everything up and reduced the amount of eggs around. See, look, they're just sort of dotted around now. There was masses of them before. I feel like this is a I feel like this is unfair putting the price up and then reducing the amount of eggs it's found. That see wait, where did I see the rest of those eggs? Over this way. But these aren't portal eggs, right? These are normal eggs. So what is a I don't know what a portal egg is. <laughs> I know I'm out of stamina. Oh. Oh. Wait, there was one there, right? Oh now it's gone dark. I can't even see anything. Give me the egg. Give me Oh that egg just vanished. Did you see that? I picked up the one and the second one disappeared. This is not how eggs behaved last time I was on. <laughs> now it is... I'm, oh, that one disappeared then as well. They must be on a timer. That's a little annoying. Wait, do these count as portal eggs as well as... Do I just have to pick up five to qualify? Let's go back and have a look. Hello, Mr. Hoppity Hop. Miss... Oh, yeah, see? It doesn't say it anymore. So we can now go in, right? The... Uh, no, no, we can't. It's still telling me we need to pick up f five, find five more. I bet they're in a specific place as well. Hmm. I may have to do some research, but we have grown. We are now a teenager. We've got these fins on our head, which is lovely. We, we got the bubbles again. Eh, they're okay, but we are definitely looking a lot more... Beautiful, should I say. A lot more flamboyant. I, I can't wait to see this thing fully grown. Does it run a bit better? Walk a bit? Yeah, see, that's a bit better. It's still got an amazing run. I love it. It's like a, it's like a happy little short-legged dog going, ooh, chase the ball, chase the ball. And then in the water, we look fantastic. We, we definitely look like we were born to live in the water. And the gliding is just a bonus. Land, please. Oh, oh no, wait. Land? Oh, if I press F, it lands. Okay. I was going to say, normally, like flying, you just press spacebar to fly, spacebar to land. But that does not work in this case because spacebar kicks me up in the air. Okay, this is a shout out to any cost developers watching this video. Please change these weird palm tree food things in the water like the water is now beautiful look at these plants they're all stunning they've added all these look at this light area it looks amazing and then if we go over this way we've got a load of coral which looks beautiful so beautiful yet yet like look at these little shells and corals and it's lovely Yet, we're still saying that these little weird palm tree things are the food source in the water. Please just come up with a new model for them. Please, I beg you. <laughs> anyway, we're fully grown and we look fantastic. Even with the bubbles. I think the bubbles work really well in the water. Mm, the, we'll see what it looks like. I just... I'm not a huge fan of them. I love the model though. Like, the, take those away and the model is beautiful. The animation is beautiful. I don't really want to get out of the water because things keep trying to kill me when I'm above the water. 
Oh, quick, let's land here and we'll see what we can do. So, there we go. Fully grown. Got off. Our, our main looks amazing. Wait, those two balls on the front there are white. Why are they white? I don't know. Are they supposed to be like these and be water? I don't know. Who knows? But this thing is beautiful. And the walking animation definitely looks better once you're an adult. Definitely. But look how fast we still run as an adult. It's so nice. Oh, I love it. Uh, let's have a look in our sit. Oh, wait. We could stand here then. There's no grass in the way or nothing. So when we sit down, let's have a look. Yeah, we sort of just drop. Oh, it's a bit weird. Our bum drops down and our belly drops down. But the middle of us go stays up. Okay, so is there a nice transition from this to lion? Let's have a look. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We just sort of go for the... Oh, look how cute he looks, though. He does look cute. I love the fact he still moves his tail slightly. That's quite nice. Yeah, do you know what? I'm okay with that. N animation. Come on, give me something good. Don't just wiggle. Don't just wiggle. You didn't just wiggle. Oh, that's nice animation. Look at that. It's almost like he's flicking it over himself. That's lovely. Picking it up with his nose and just sort of flicking it back over himself. I like it. Now, I'm 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 expecting something good from the aggro. I just am. I just think looking at this thing with all these massive wings and tail and frills, it should be good. Do you know what? It's okay. I love the fact we can see its, its teeth now. Again, that bit on its neck clips through the bottom of its mouth, but I'm going to ignore that. You see, from above, it looks a lot more impressive. If you think this thing is, is going head on with something and giving it a warning, not so impressive, but from above, and even from behind, like, you've got... Yeah, I don't know. It's not the greatest but it's not the worst either it works for the creature i just feel like if the wings turned slightly and looked it would make you look bigger and more menacing uh let's have a look at when we bow oh see that's nice i really like the fact it opens its wings and lowers them and its head's not too far down either it's not going oh i must i must touch the floor but it still looks like it's it's sort of going yes yes i respect you yeah, love it. Now, have you got a nice voice? That is the question. That was a bit close. Call number one. See, it does that weird clippy thing again. Watch when we do call number two. That bit on the neck clips through the bottom of the jaw. Call number two. Call number three. And call number four. See, I bet you can't stop seeing that now, can you? Now I've pointed it out. <laughs> it is a lovely creature. I actually could see myself playing it this quite a lot. I love the glide animation, which it probably annoys a lot of you because like, I don't glide properly when I'm a flyer. I just feel like the gliding animation for a glider is actually better. It just is. Oh, meat. I might as well have some of that, seeing as I can't go and do the boss because I don't have any tokens. Wait, I'm going to have to figure out where I got them from. I'm going to go onto my Discord, I think, and ask the peeps in there. I'm sure they're going to have some answers for me. And then in the next video, hopefully we can check out the boss. Because I, I, I am intrigued by the boss. I think I've seen a picture of it. I think. I was hoping it was going to be a creature we could have, but I think it's the boss. Oh, look at that fog. I feel that's harsh fog. Considering the colour of us, people can see us a mile off even in this fog. We just can't see them, so we're likely to get eaten. Seriously, can't see a thing. Like, that is some thick fog. We're going to fall out the sky in a minute. Where are we? I don't even know where I am. Oh, I'm over here. Wait, so if I want to go to the boss dome... That's this way? 
I'm going to say yes. I think I'm... Yeah, there it is. I'm a coming. I'm a, is everyone being nice over here is the question. Oh, there's no one around. No one... Oh, there's, there's one. There's a hush hike. Which attacked me last time I was near one of these earlier in the video. Hello. How are you? You need more portal eggs. Find five more. I don't want to. I don't know where they are. <laughs> I, I will definitely find some before the next episode. So we can jump in there. We can we can have a boss battle. Oh, you're lovely and colourful. That, that's a little sneak peek at one of the, the creatures we unlocked with our Easter eggs earlier in the video. And I'm going to leave it there. Until next time, I'll see you again.